G'day everyone, today we're going to use Python to program the Lego Spike Prime model Grabber, which could also be found under the Unit Plan Invention Squad Super Cleanup. Learning Python is a fantastic way to get started with coding using a text-based programming language. And Python is one of the world's most popular and useful industry languages. So being able to code in Python will set you apart from your peers. Now making the switch from word blocks to Python is not always straightforward. And luckily I have hundreds of videos to teach Python basics. So be sure to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more coding and robotics tutorials. Now let's take a look at Super Cleanup. Here we have the Spike Prime software. So if you want to access Super Cleanup, just hit the Units button, then have a look at Invention Squad. Scroll all the way down to Super Cleanup and click Start. You can watch the video with your classroom, then hit Next to build the Grabber. Now the Grabber has a single controller, but you can choose uh, between Grabber 1 and Grabber 2. Uh, it's up to you which Grabber you use, they both work exactly the same. Grabber 1 is probably better for smaller and softer objects, whereas Grabber 2 is probably better for larger hard objects. All right, whichever Grabber you choose, you build your Grabber and then you hit the Next button and then hit the button again, then you connect your hub. And mine is green, I'm gonna hit the Bluetooth button and connect. Okay, so now my grabber is working. Uh, let's have a look at the code. So here it says that when the force sensor at E is pressed, then the mo motor A will be set at negative 100% power and it will start the motor. It will actually move the motor and not stop until the force sensor at E is released. Once it's released, then it will move the, um, the motor back in the opposite direction for a half a second. Okay, so let's hit the play button and then you can see this in action. You see that? All right, let's have a closer look. So when I press this uh, trigger, the claw will close, and when I release it, it opens. Okay, so that is the idea for the code. Very straightforward from a blocks perspective, but it will be a little bit trickier when we try to do this in Python. So let's uh, go to the home button again, hit home, a new project, click on Python, and we're going to call it um, Super Cleanup Python. Hit create. Again, we start with our basics. If you've seen my um, previous um, uh, tutorials using Kiki the dog and also um, with the hopper race, then you'll uh, you'll know the basics here. Here we are importing the light matrix uh, and the run loop, and then this is our main code. Uh, we don't need to write anything here. What we're going to do instead is we're going to look at our API modules, and then we're going to add two things: the force sensor and a motor. Okay, so here motor, we're going to have to import motor. Okay, so. Notice that I'm using the, um, the knowledge base as a way to sense check exactly what I need to add um, for my project. So I don't have a motor uh, here, so I need to import a motor. I'm not going to leave the light matrix neither, but uh, in a moment we will add something. Oh, yeah, we don't need light matrix, but we need port because we're going to import something into our ports. We also need a force sensor. So let's have a look at a force sensor. So it's just import force sensor. Force sensor. Okay. All right. So our force sensor is at port E and our motor is at port A. Um, so how are we going to do this? We're going to make it so that we have a forever loop. 
I'm going to have a forever loop where we check if we have um, pressed onto our um, uh, our force sensor or not. Okay, so to write a forever loop, we go while true. While true, we'll say if the force sensor is pressed. So here we say force sensor pressed in port E. If force sensor press port E, then we're going to run the motor uh, anti-clock negative 100%. Uh, if you remember from our block code before, uh, here, this block code, if we press the force sensor, we start the motor at negative 100%. Okay. While true, if force sensor is pressed, then we're going to go to our motor. And then we're just going to run because we're not going to uh, care about how long to run it for as long as it is running. So here, uh, oh, this has got time. We don't want time. Oh, hold on. The accelerator is in degrees per second. Is it degrees per second? Yes, it is not time, oh, which is good. So we just have to go copy this. Motor A, uh, but it is not 1000. We're going to go negative 1000. Mm, is that good? Yeah, yeah, That's that sounds about right. LF, uh, else. We're going to say, uh, run the opposite direction. Let's see if this works. So if we are pressing the um, port E, the sensor port E, then we'll rotate the motor one direction, else we rotate the other direction. Okay, And then, of course, we run the function. Uh, hit the play button, and let's see if it works. All right, see, it's working just like the the block code. When I press the button, it closes, and when I open it, well, when I release the button, it opens. That's it, nice and simple one today. Now, if you want to learn more about Python, perhaps you already know the basics and you want to become an expert to teach your students, then you should consider joining my channel membership. For the price of a couple of coffees each month, you can get access to hundreds of hours of Python, C++, Scratch, and Blockly coding lesson replays for advanced students. And by becoming a member, you also directly contribute to my channel so that I can keep making new coding content. Become a member today by hitting the join button below. That's it from me. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.